PlayStation 4 back button attachment. Is it worth it? Is it viable? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Hey y'all, welcome on IGY6GamesD, gamer channel that brings you a variety of entertainment and content. Bo here and here, before I kick things off, I'd appreciate the love by y'all sharing and hitting those icons that need clicking. With that said, check out the social meds where I post daily and keep in touch with the followers. Now let go. I'd imagine plenty of us gamers, especially PlayStation, sorry Xbox, we've looked into finding an easier way of getting access to a button without removing our thumbs from the thumbsticks. And I'm sure those sa same gamers, they've looked up a controller that could do so. And they're called like elite controllers, pro controllers, whatever. And then you see the damn price tag to the side. And they're about, I don't know, 150 plus. And who's gonna pay that kind of money? Some people will, majority of us don't. Well now there's an option at a cheap, pretty decent deal where you can just buy the attachment itself and throw it on the DualShock controller and that's 30 bucks for the back button attachment for the Sony DualShock controller now who do I recommend this to I would recommend it mostly to the PvP players that's why I have a Call of Duty in the background for the gameplay PvE it's not that important to get to the button as fast as possible it's not of essence to get, hurry up and slide or jump or reload something like that you have the time in PvE to do as you wish but if you love PvP and your PlayStation I would highly recommend this back button attachment if you got $30 to shell out now what's the benefit the benefit is you assign your buttons you got two back pedals that come with this attachment and ideally you want to throw it on uh, a D bat a D pad button or X Y oh shit that's Xbox <laughs> my bad square triangle X O you if you have to remove your thumbs from the thumbstick and hit those side buttons over there that's where you throw in those back buttons so as for Call of Duty, I have a slide, which is square, and um, I don't have jump for the other one because I, uh, I've already customized my PlayStation controller where X is my right thumbstick pushing. So I also, I love to throw C4, so I got C4 as my right trigger, or the right back button. I mean there's w multiple ways of setting it up like for instance for TD2 for the division 2 you know I had to armor up with the d-pad guess what I'm hitting that bitch on my left back button and then I believe reload as well on the division 2 for me on my right back button but the point is you never leave your thumbstick with your thumbs to hit those side buttons you already have it with the trigger uh the back buttons a nice little feature it comes with you can program three different presets and fortunately for me i only played three games at this time while uh not while in breakpoint the division two and modern warfare so all you gotta do is you know remember what game you're playing and set that preset and you're golden Another pro that this back button attachment brings for the PlayStation controller, you know, of the console games, we are the itty bitty controller. And many of us feel it's a little light in the weight department, but it throws in a nice little hefty additional weight, so it's a nice comfortable weight in your hand. Now the unfortunate part of that part is it adds bulk in the way of your hand is not used to that grip and it took me quite a while to get used to gripping with just the pinky and ring finger beneath the back buttons and using the middle fingers for the left and right now it could be uncomfortable 
for I'd say the first four hours or so to get used to and but once you get it down it's definitely handy in uh, the PvP type games where you gotta make those decisions quick with the quick you know the the quick reflexes and so you know how Call of Duty there was always that meta with the what, what the drop shot yeah I can now pull that off because I've always you know the drop shot was what circle or square whatever it was to make you go prone and those stupid fucking guys who would fucking drop shot you when you thought you had them dead to right well now with this back button attachment and not paying 150 fucking plus dollars for a damn controller it's doable 30 bucks off of Amazon and that's just delivered in one day now if you're one of those gamers who plays a long time I did have a long session and my hands not used to gripping like that my hands were fucking sore I didn't think that was possible but but my middle finger like so the top of my both of my hands on top where the knuckles are just with that weird grip that I wasn't used to definitely was uncomfortable for a while I thought I was getting carpal tunnel or some shit but I'm young I bounced back next day and I'm perfect so let's review on how I play with Call of Duty and the benefit with the back buttons and when I actually need to leave the thumbstick alright so with the customize I do with the buttons I have X which is jump in this game as the right thumbstick so when I'm jumping around corners I'm simply just pushing in the right thumbstick never leave the thumbstick because on a corner jump shot it takes them off sometimes you can get away with it now if you're playing Modern Warfare you know that the slide around the corner is a big thing and I'm never leaving the thumbstick I have it as a back button and then of course there's always the drop shot which is the same button that you'd use to slide and that's just holding it and going prone which is the back button so I'm pulling all these maneuvers with never having to leave the thumbsticks with my thumbs I'm in full control of my aim and just ADS and if need to and just pulling the trigger and I'm never leaving back buttons it's very very beneficial for PvP players when you have these type of games so what I love most now <laughs> I will get drop shot every once in a while in this game and be like man mother you fucking lucky I don't have that stupid ass expensive ass game fucking controller you spoiled little kid but then I gotta realize now well shit I just gotta get better and do the same thing it's copycat league Call of Duty is damn sure is it's not just the NFL maybe not just the XFL as well but I can pull that shit off on them now so it's kinda good to know that and at the same time I'm gonna be pissing off some people myself so again Xbox players unfortunately this is not for y'all PlayStation I highly recommend and how you do it just simply Amazon that bitch $30 it may still be out of stock it did it did sell quite well when it first got released uh, I believe early February late January somewhere around there and but it's only 30 bucks Amazon you'll have it the next day after you order I would get it oh one last tip especially for all y'all who are gonna have it and play multiple games always be sure to have your preset just remember to set the right preset and you try hard to cry and shit you don't want to go into a Call of Duty game Battlefield game one of those games that Rainbow Six Rambo Rainbow Six Siege you don't want to go in and have it set to, I don't know, uh, Minecraft, whatever y'all kids play. You don't want it set to a different game with different button layouts preset and then get into a Call of Duty PvP game and have it set to that shit because you'll have a bad match and you'll panic. You'll probably die once or twice just getting it to the same, to the right preset. So always make sure to have that shit set. And as we close out, 
I hope you got what you came for. Share with your mates. Click those buttons that need the clicking. Want to catch us in action? Check out the squad as we stream. Schedule down below in the description. Swing on by and say hello. And as always, I say peace. I'm as calm as Leo.